So, Cristiano Ronaldo scores another goal and sends Morocco packing. Um, it was a so-and-so game, I think Portugal got the early lead and then didn't want to do much for the game anymore. Um, they had some minor chances, Ronaldo had two free kicks that he hit in the wall, despite all the celebration uh, before it. And yeah, I'm sad to see Morocco go, to be honest, because I thought they played well in both games. Uh, maybe they should have done a little bit more in against Iran, but when they played well in the first half, they really played well. And also today, I think they caused some problems to uh, Portugal. They are well organized. Hervé Renard is a great coach, I think. I mean, he is probably the most successful coach in Africa. And the team is clearly carrying his stamp. They had some chances. There was one big save by Rui Patricio. Uh, it's kind of funny that a defender is the most dangerous player for Morocco. But yeah, I was sorry to see them go. Uh, being the first team eliminated, that doesn't feel nice, especially when you got a feel that you played well overall. That's how it goes. How about Portugal? As I said, yeah, they didn't want to do much more. I think they wanted to save their energies and that's what they did. Um, now the big thing is of course Ronaldo having now 85 goals, so being one goal ahead of Puskas. Just to put it in relation, Ronaldo, I think, played his 151st or 152nd game. Uh, Puskas did his 84 goals in 85 games for Hungary and four for Spain. Uh, yes, he did it in an era where there were more, more goals scored, but still the relation doesn't quite fit. Um, I think I just want to say I don't like those goal totals. It's always totals, 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 because they're easy to compare. Always put it in relation to something. Um, there needs to be some adjustment done at least for the average amount of goals scored. So in that sense, um, I don't want to deny Ronaldo the record, but if you play 151 games and you are taking all penalties and all free kicks and so on, of course, you're going to rack up a lot of goals. And you went for a clear spell there in the early two, uh, 2010s where you didn't score that many, so yeah, I'm not so sure that I want to give him this big record. Don't get me wrong, I think he's one of the best players, if not the best, best player at the moment. What else was there? Yeah, kit matchup. I was very surprised to see Portugal in white against Morocco in red with green pants. It was the more colorful matchup, so that was actually nice to see, but I still don't get why Portugal played in white. I have two things that I can speculate. The one is that maybe FIFA didn't want to have the clash of the red shoulders of the Morocco away shirt with the red shirt of Portugal, which I would find it kind of weak if that really was the reason. Or the Portugal wanted to promote their wonderful white shirt, which is a white shirt despite all those mosquito crosses on the front that get a little bit thick around the belly area. Now, since we have athletes, it doesn't even accentuate anything. Anything. It looks ridiculous in a way. Well, let me know what you thought and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.